Hello dear learners, I am Christina Georgi and I welcome you to my channel. Today's video serves as a course introduction for BPCS 186 which is titled Managing Stress. The course on Managing Stress is a 4 credits course which is a skill based elective offered for the BA level learners. The main objectives of this course are to acquaint you, the learner, with the concept, nature and manifestation of stress and to help you learn the strategies of managing stress. Dear learners, today stress has become a very commonly used term in every context, whether college, workplace and so on. We often come across people who say that they are stressed or experiencing stress in their lives. We ourselves experience stress very often. Am I right? So this course would be very beneficial for you to learn more about the various factors of stress, the causes, the symptoms, the ill effects and most importantly how to cope effectively with stress and stressful situations. This course is divided into two blocks. Each of these blocks represents a specific theme which is discussed in terms of units. The units are arranged in a logical sequence so as to cover the main aspects of each theme. Now let's have a look at the very first block which is titled Introduction to Stress. So here in this block there are four units namely Stress and Introduction, Models of Stress, Factors Contributing to Stress Proneness and Effect of Stress. Now let's look at block Two, which is titled stress management here also we have four units coping with stress stress management techniques one stress management techniques two and finally stress management techniques three one two three are numbered in such a way that you will be introduced to the various ways in which you will be able to manage stress in your day-to-day -day lives. Dear learners, now let's look at the contents of block 1 that is introduction to stress. Here in this block as I mentioned there are four units. Let's have a look at unit 1. Here the major focus areas include the concept of stress, the nature of stress along with its types and symptoms and sources of stress. Dear learners, this very unit will serve as a basis to the rest of the units that will be covered in this course. The unit will cover the concept, nature, sources and also measurement of stress. Discussion on the concept and nature of stress will provide a fair idea about the term and will set a framework for comprehension of other topics and subtopics discussed in this course. Moving on to Unit 2. Unit 2 is titled Models of Stress. So here we will deal with the various models of stress and this unit will cover the fight or flight response by Cannon. General Adaptation Syndrome put forth by Sale Cognitive Appraisal Model put forth by Lazarus and his colleagues Person Environment Fit Model proposed by French Harrison and Leblanc We will also study the Psychodynamic Model along with the Genetic Constitutional Theory and Diathesis Stress Model Dear learners, don't you worry, we will study all these models in our upcoming videos. Now let's have a look at Unit 3. Unit 3 is titled Factors Contributing to Stress 
roundness. So as the very title suggests, we will look at type A personality, aspects such as hostility, perfectionism, procrastination, learned pessimism or helplessness along with other aspects. We will also learn about the moderators of stress. Moving on to unit 4 which will highlight the effects of stress. Mainly the effect of stress on health, performance and productivity and on relationship will be covered in this unit. Shall we have a look at block 2? Here we go. Block 2 titled Stress Management. So the very first unit that is unit 5 is titled coping with stress. It covers coping and coping strategies, definition and nature of coping, goals of coping, coping styles among others. Moving on to unit 6 that is stress management technique 1. So these units 6, 7 and 8 will cover various stress management techniques. In the previous blocks, we saw stress as a concept and in these blocks, we will cover how to manage and deal effectively with stress. So unit 6 in particular will deal with relaxation techniques such as meditation, yoga, mindfulness, biofeedback among others. And unit 7 will focus on cognitive restructuring such as time management, time management metrics, techniques of time management among others. And finally, unit 8 will cover interpersonal skills and problem solving. Dear learners, Without any stress in life, any individual will not be motivated enough to perform or carry out varied activities. At the same time, stress beyond optimal level can have a negative effect on the individual and will interfere with his or her day-to-day -day function. It is therefore important that stress is managed and is kept below the optimal level. So I really hope that this course will help you manage your stress effectively. Dear learners, this was just the course introduction. We will meet again soon with each and every one of these units. If together we learn and let's make this work. All the very best. I have already uploaded a few videos on the initial units of managing stress. If you haven't watched, please find the links in the description. Dear learners, stay tuned for more videos on this topic and thank you for watching.